Yep, as the thumbnail says, I'm still here! <clears throat> yeah, survived the whole Copa nuking and all that jazz. Usually I don't follow any of those big YouTube update dramas because that kind of stuff usually affects the big fancy YouTubers, the one that makes videos for a living. As opposed to nobody like me who just makes videos for entertainment and as a hobby, and not getting a single dime off of them. And why is that? Well, that's just simply because I prefer not selling my soul to Google and dealing with the daily routine and demonetization crap. And then Copa came along, and it was going to affect more than the YouTube partnership people. So I already planned in advance to save my videos in case I disappeared at the start of the new year. And yet, here I am, and nothing's happened. Well, unless I do end up disappearing out of nowhere. But on the plus side, at least my video folders are up to date. So now I can go back and re-edit and re-upload videos in case I get hit with another one of those pesky copyright things over music or certain images. I already had to take down a few just to be on the safe side before the start of the new year. So those were some old videos that were hit with some copyright stuff years ago. And I'll get around to re-uploading them when I have time. So aside from that, I had a good Christmas 2019. Got some neat stuff like a new PC since Microsoft's gonna stop supporting my old Windows 7. Yeah, this one's a Windows 10, but hey, this one's more of a gaming console, so now Gary's Bod runs a lot smoother for me, and I can play games that my old PC couldn't handle, like Defunct. Yeah, I mentioned this in my Sonic Q&A video, finally got around to playing it, and I still stand with that statement. In terms of gameplay and level design, this is what modern Sonic should have been. None of this colors or forces crap. Other things, eh, I got some games, some DVDs, one of them I plan to cover on Forgotten Media one day, and finally got my hands on that Banjo-Kazooie Totaku figure. Yeah, you know, those things exclusive to GameStop, cost like 10 bucks, and yet people on eBay and Amazon just love to jack up the prices on those things. Well, at least now I can finally complete my Triforce of childhood gaming now. Alright, enough about the personal stuff, here's some updates on videos and other projects. First up, the Q&A reboot's gonna be the top priority of this year. Yeah, I gotta finish that final segment before those questions become horribly outdated. <laughs> in hindsight, I should've split that category into two parts. You know, one for video game related questions and one for film and TV show related questions. And of course, I'll still be making Forgotten Media episodes. Haven't made a list yet for this year, but I do have some episodes on my mind that I'd like to do. I think I mentioned on Twitter that I'm planning to cover the Ponyville Mystery Chapter books, and I'll also briefly talk about the comics version as well. For a long time, I've thought about doing a few more episodes related to the Three Stooges. Hopefully I don't end up pissing off C3 Entertainment again, like what happened last time, yeesh. Other than that, I would like to try and make some videos that I've wanted to do since the beginning, like Glover and Peter No-Tail. Maybe I'll get around to doing some episodes from some Twitter polls that I did, asking people, Hey, what ideas of Forgotten Media episodes do you want to see first? Yeah, I should probably get around to making those, otherwise those are just going to come off like empty promises. <laughs> uh, there's still the possibility of a co-op episode, but that's been in the planning stages for who knows how long, so... Yeah, I, that's about it for all the updates on Forgotten Media. Other projects, uh, give me chaos theories? Nah, no one wants to hear about that. I would like to get around to making a 10th anniversary video. Yeah, it's already been 10 whole years since I first started YouTube. How time flies. Other than that, I would love to go back into making more Archie Sonic reviews. The reason why I stopped doing that was mostly because of the old format. Doing two issues in one video was getting tiring and becoming too much of a chore. And back then the comics were still going, so it was tough for me to try and keep up to date. But now the comics are cancelled, so I know how many there are. So I'm going to do a more different format. Like covering some of the older issues that had random stories and fuse them all into one, rather than just sticking with two comics. Certain main stories like Toss in Space, House of Cards, all the Sonic Universe story arcs, they'll get their own videos. A four issue in one video kind of deal. And the big standalone one shots like Sonic Super Specials would get their own episodes as well. I actually have a script finished for the next episode where I covered issues 19 and 20. That was finished and abandoned years ago. I think I still have that script somewhere, so I'll mostly be using that when I get back into doing the series. Then I'll jump right into the new format. So that covers what's going on on this channel. Anything outside of that on YouTube? Eh, 
Well, Roger Vandewide and I have discussed the possibility of me making another guest appearance on Sonic Dissected. Another IDW Sonic-related one, ironically. Yeah, we've talked a lot on Discord about this and a lot of other different uh, topics. So I think recently we decided to cover the first 25 issues of the comics. Yeah, IDW Sonic's first milestone. As well as my most likely touching upon the Tangle and Whisper miniseries and the annual specials. But it's still in the planning stages, so who knows? We may end up making it, or we may end up not making it. And that's all the updates I have on YouTube. Of course, I'm still active on DeviantArt, posting Gmod and SFM pics. Still active on Twitter, posting random ideas or just me babbling on about stuff. So that's about it, so I'll see you next time. Okay, I actually do have some updates on Gaming Chaos Theories, if anyone's still here. Right now, the series is on hiatus, mostly due to my bitter and cynical view on the current state of the Sonic games really slowing me down. Yeah, I was struggling with that last episode because it went through so many rewrites. Originally, it was going to be a very angry kind of video. You know, me going full-on ABGN and all that. <laughs> but I wasn't happy with that, so I had to keep toning it down so I didn't end up sounding like an angry jackass. Luke's messaged me that he or someone commissioned an artist for making our personas more expressive in different poses. Although I haven't heard back from that in a while, I have to double check on that. One episode I thought about doing is Crash vs. Sonic, a contrast and comparison between Team Sonic Racing and CTR Nacho Field, because I find it fascinating at how these games are polar opposites. It's not going to be about everything, we're just going to focus on the design and content of these games. Other than that, yeah, that's about it, so don't expect this series to be coming back anytime soon.